Here we have a Memphis miniature 500 watt monoblock amplifier on the bench today. Let's see what it's all about. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just playing around out here in the old school stereo labs today with this old Memphis 16ST500D 500 watt miniature mono block. I'll show you how it's kind of small. That's an iPod Nano. So this joker should fit under almost any seat. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, that turned off. Anyway. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a two ohm uh, mono power output test, and then I'm gonna throw it up against these uh, Rockford HX2s. Now, only one of these works. The other one is sort of acting like a big passive radiator because this one needs to be reconed. Both coils are, uh, are detached, so. So anyway, let's check it out and see what she'll do. Rated at 500 watts at two ohms. Let's see what kind of power she puts out. And here we have the Memphis 16-ST500D 500 watt mono block. Pretty small little amplifier here compared to my hand as you can see. We're going to test it out today at 2 ohms. It's rated to do 500 watts. So let's see what it'll actually do into a resistive load at 200 watts. Let me turn on my DD1. We're testing 40 hertz and we're feeding it 14 volts of input. There we had distortion. Four hundred and thirty five watts according to the DD one. Four fifty six we're yeah, we're just hitting at the one percent distortion at four fifty six, so and I'll show you. Looks like the voltage has dropped just a little bit, feeding at uh thirteen point six, thirteen point seven volts. Oh yeah. Let me try it one more time. We'll do the amperage pull. All right, at 435, we're pulling 53 amps. There you have it. Alright folks, so you have the power output test of the Memphis 16-ST500D. Uh, as you can tell, it's a little bit short of the 500 watts that it's rated to do. But, you know, we're kind of used to that here at the labs. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Still, you know, pretty respectable. 430 watts or so at 2 ohms. Now, you know, like I always say, doing the amp output measurements one thing, but showing up powering a subwoofer is another so let's try it out with a little hx2 goodness
Thank you.